Hi, my name is Krista Anderson Sorensen, and this is an introduction to Secondary Math 2 and our Canvas page and how this year is going to run. So on the home page of our Canvas course, go to student view. This is what it will look like for students. So on the home page, you have my email, my office hours, the math disclosure, signature form, student handbook. Um, I'll put the updated one here as soon as it's linked to our outs web page. The new policies for attendance and personal technology, common Chromebook fixes, math resource page, and after school math lab calendar. So everything you need should be right here. Then there's the calendar for the school year. Oh, need to change the date. This is the correct calendar. So the first day of school, we went over the disclosure and then the students filled in the 1.1 notes section. And then each day it has links to what we will be completing and doing in class. As you scroll down, if it is not blue, there's not a hyperlink. So throughout the year, I will hyperlink these so that students can click right on them and it will take them to that page. Um, the whole year has been planned out. It may change. Um, most years we stick pretty close to it. The second location are the modules. I personally recommend using modules. That's where I like to go. So this year, there is an introduction, uh, a little about a little bit about me and my education. And then this year I will be going on maternity leave. So we will have a long-term sub, Stephanie Jorgensen. Um, there's a little insert about her right here as well. Um, Wednesday, on Wednesday evening, there will be a parent night from 6.30 to 7.30. It is an open house. So basically you can come into the classroom, meet both of us, ask us any questions you have about the course, um, clarifications, and make sure that you are comfortable with how this year is going to go. And if you can't make it to that parent night, please feel free to reach out. We can schedule a Zoom call or um, some other type of meeting so that you feel comfortable having your kid in, in this math class. Um, then there is the disclosure. If you'd like to read through it, you can click there. Now, this is how a module will run. So for each module, I will give the students a printed packet of notes. They do not have to print it. They look like this. Um, they are a blank set of notes. And the first page is a checklist of the objectives and a checklist of, I watched the notes, I completed the practice, I understand the material. This page, I'm not going to grade. It's mostly just for the student to make sure that they're staying on top of things and they're feeling comfortable with the material. They will receive credit for filling in the notes. So they'll have six to 10 lessons in each module and they fill these in while they are at home. So they're going to take notes at home. So to show you what that looks like when they're taking notes at home, they may choose to watch a video of the notes. So they can click on here, watch a video. As they're watching the video, they fill it in. That is one option for students that like to hear and like see step by step. Other students that like to copy the notes and just like see visually, there is a PDF of the notes filled in. 
So at home, they may be having this on their computer and filling in the notes and kind of figuring out how each problem is being solved. That way, when they come to class, they will be doing the practice problems in groups and they'll be able to ask myself or the sub questions and fill in the gaps, go over questions from notes. It will allow the students to just make sure they're having all those holes filled. So an example of the practice problems they auto-generate, so let me do this top one. I'm going to get it wrong. So let's do supplementary. If I get it wrong, then I'm going to get it wrong again. I can check the key. Oh, they were complementary because they add up to 90. This does not mean your student has a zero. They just click get a similar and they get to try it again. It should never lock them out. They should have infinite tries. They always have the ability to get 100% on assignments. Um, okay. So with that, the next thing that you may want to know is that assignments will be open for the entire quarter for full credit. This is because I'll have students that have IEPs, 504s, students will be out sick, they'll have sports, and I don't want to have to have the sub going in and changing dates. So um, just be aware the cutoff date is the end of the quarter and there's no extension past that. So as soon as the quarter ends, all of the assignments close. Um, the, which is new, last year um, in math one, I don't think any of the classes did that. So the other thing is, although they are due, they are due at the end of the quarter, um, myself and the sub will keep Skyward updated so if an assignment is not done by the next class period, there will be zeros put in, there will be missing put in, and it will update every night so that you are aware of like current, current work and everything will be updated each night from Canvas to Skyward. So Skyward should be um, a great way to check where your student is. The other change in the disclosure is with exams. Your students will receive four retakes this year. I recommend using one per quarter. It's not required. I've just had a lot of students save up retakes and never use them. So I just recommend using one each quarter. Um, the other change in test retakes is that they don't have to retake a test within a window. Um, they can take test one, they can take test two, they can take the third test. And then at the end of the quarter, they can go back and retake one because one was their lowest score. Um, the only thing that may be difficult is if they have forgotten that material, they should go back and study um, for it before they retake. Um, that should be everything you need to know for this class. So if you have questions pop up and you're coming to the parent night or want to shoot me an email, I look forward to having your kids in class and getting to know you. Welcome to Math 2 with Ms. Anderson Sorensen and Mrs. Jorgensen.